chords we're going to use for this song are E minor, C, G, D, and the only weird one, A7 sus4. And it's actually pretty easy. Third finger, third fret of the second string, relative to the capo, of course. And first finger, second fret, fourth string. If these chords are tough for you, start out with my beginner course and come back here after. And for everyone else, let's get started with possibly the most iconic strumming pattern of all time. So this strumming pattern has four different parts on four different chords. And I'll go through them one at a time to make it easy. So starting on your E minor, you're going to play this. Down, 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 up. Pretty simple. Then your next chord is going to be a G, and you're going to play this. Down, up, down, 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 up. So then when you put those two together, we've got this. And then you're going to bring that up to full speed eventually. You can see it's starting to take shape already. Then moving into the third part, we're going to start with a D and we're going to play this. Down, up, down, down, down. Then you're going to switch to that A7 sus4, which is actually a really easy switch. Take off your second finger and move your first finger up one string. And then you're going to start on an up strum and play this. So then putting those two together, we've got this. I know it's a lot to remember, but just start off slowly, build up speed gradually once you can kind of feel the rhythm a little bit better. Here's the whole thing slowed down. Even slower. Then once you get the hang of that, you can try out the whole thing in full speed. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. So that one's a lot to remember. But the great thing is once you've got that strumming pattern, you've basically got the entire song. We've got two other sections we're going to do, and the next one is moving into the pre-chorus. We're going to do the exact same strumming, but we're going to change up the chords. Now we're going to do a C for the first part, D for the second part, and then E minor for the last two parts. The strumming is going to be the exact same, so let's try it out. So we've just got one more part to play and that's the chorus. The great thing is we're going to use the exact same strumming pattern we've used for the entire song so far. We're just going to change up the chords again. So this time part one is going to be on a C, part two is going to be on an E minor, part three is going to be on a G, and then part four is going to be on an E minor. Let's try that out. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. The strumming is by far the toughest part of the song. Besides that, it's just memorizing where the chord changes. So follow along with the lyrics and chords in the description below. Rewind this video if you need to refresh on some parts, and you should have the song in no time.